Hi, I'm Richard Byrne. In this video, I want to explain to you what sub-image searching is and why your students might want to use this. Let's go ahead and take a look here. This is actually an excerpt from my course on search strategies that students need to know. And we're going to take a look here at this practice activity that I have in the course, and that is to find out what kind of mushroom this is. And I tell a little backstory that this is a picture I took while walking in the woods here in Maine with my daughters, and they asked me what kind of mushroom this was. I didn't know, so I took a picture of it so that I could look it up when I got home. Now, obviously, you can see the answer there in my speaker notes. When I give this to students, I don't show them the speaker notes with the answer. So this practice activity here, one of the things we're going to do is try to, first of all, just use this picture to give us some information about this mushroom. And so I'm going to call this one Red Mushroom Main. And I'm going to save it on my desktop. Now, I'm going to go to Google Images, where I'm going to search by image by uploading a copy of that image. So there's my red mushroom main. And you'll notice that when I do this, Google Images has focused not on the mushroom, but on the soil in the background. And we'll see here, it's giving me a link to a Wikipedia article about soil, this website about soil, some books about soil. And down here, it does have some images that are kind of visually similar. But again, Google Images really focused on the soil and not on the mushroom. And we're after the mushroom. We want to know more about this mushroom. So what we're going to do is the practice of sub-image searching. And that is to crop the image down to focus on just the most important part. And in this case here, it's just the mushroom we care about. So again, I'll use my snipping tool, but you could use any screen capture tool. And I'm going to capture that. And I'm going to save it again as red mushroom main two. Let's save that. And now I'm going to upload that image to Google Images. And we'll have red mushroom two right here, red mushroom main two. Let's go ahead and upload that image. And we'll see now it's detecting it as a wild mushroom. And it's giving us some visually similar images. Now, it's focused here on the shape. Right? So these visually similar images have focused on the shape. Let's go ahead and take a look at those. And I'll point out one other thing we can do here. It's focused on the shape. But we can go to these tools. And we can say color red because we want red mushrooms that have a similar shape and there we're starting to see some that have a similar shape and a similar color and now all our students need to do is to add some words to the google image search and actually read the information on the web pages on which they're finding some of their visually similar images so that is sub image searching and it can be really helpful to students to refine their image-based search. Now, if you want the answer to this, again, it's highlighted there in the speaker notes of these slides, but I'll put the answer in the description of this video, where I'll also have a link to my entire course on search strategies students need to know, and a link to my favorite book about search, The Joy of Search, written by Dan Russell. If you don't have a copy of this on your bookshelf, you need to get one. So you can find that at your favorite library or favorite bookstore. And as always, for more things like this, please check out freetechforteachers.com or subscribe to my YouTube channel.